Many of us are already trying to help, living closer to work, taking public transit where possible, or perhaps buying a hybrid. Hybrids can be a cool, efficient alternative, but don't kid yourself. In with the electric motor is still a gasoline-powered one with a tailpipe. Whatever happened to the promise of the fully electric car, the plug-in kind, producing no exhaust out the back at all? Well, about 10 years ago, some big car companies started producing electric cars, quite a lot of them. They worked. Owners loved them, they looked sharp, and they kicked butt coming out of a stoplight. So where are they now? Dead, by and large. Killed by their own creators in a stunning display of power politics and spin. And uh, for a while, there was a terrific alternative, a pure electric car, uh, mostly in California. And then uh, they all disappeared. But, you know, it didn't just happen that these cars became available. It had some to do with a marriage of good old American innovation, both from the car manufacturer's point of view and also in terms of air quality regulation. Well, you know, Los Angeles has got uh, very bad air quality problems. You fact, think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It was really bad in the 70s when I was growing up. And then uh, in the 90s, 80s and 90s, it really began to increase, too, because there are so many people moving to Los Angeles. And uh, California was looking at, like, one in four kids had lung lesions and cancer, and all these things were coming up. So they said, we have to do something. And uh, just then, General Motors had uh, built an electric car, and they had one at the uh, L.A. Auto Show. And uh, the regulators said, oh, you guys can do an electric car. Well, they required these electric cars. They passed these rules in 1990 that by 1998, about 2% of these cars would have to be all electric. And by the year 2003, three years ago, what would it be up to about 10%? 10%, yeah. So this is, a, this is it's a big innovation as, for example, the catalytic converter that California also led the nation on. And uh, New York and Massachusetts and many, many states said, hey, this is a good idea, electric cars. Let's see what happens in California. Well, you've got some experience behind the wheel of one of these EV1s. Does it yeah. go? Yeah, oh my God. I mean, most people think the electric car is, you know, a golf cart or something for a little old lady like it was in 1900. But these modern electric cars, I sat in that EV1, and you step on the accelerator, and it's boom, incredibly fast and almost totally quiet, just like a spaceship taking off. And I think at that moment, the first time I drove in the electric car, I, I, was, I was hooked. Very convenient. You just plugged it in at home overnight, charged the car, and then uh, one day, the car was taken away. It was actually taken away from you? Well, not exactly like that. They leased the cars, so you knew you'd have to give the car back at a you certain You couldn't point. buy one if you wanted to no. buy one. No, well, you said, hey, okay, my lease is up. We said, uh, what's the cost to buy the car out? They go, oh, no option. We take the car back. No option, I want to keep my car, no, you can't have it. So everybody who had these electric cars, or most of the people, really wanted to keep them. And they said, no, we need the cars back. I mean, really a lot of passion about a stupid car. I know. I never even liked cars until this uh, EV1 electric car. This was something special. So cut hard to this. People mm -hmm. who love their EV1 electric cars so much that when they're taken away, they stage a mock funeral yeah. for their dearly beloved but dearly departed cars. Let's take a look. What the detractors and the critics of electric vehicles have been saying for years is true. The electric vehicle is not for everybody. Given the limited range, it can only meet the needs of 90% of the population. People used to ask me, why do you do what you do? And I, especially after I had my son told them, I figure if I do my job well enough, my son will never know a time before there were electric cars on the road. And he rode in an EV1 on the way over here, and he said, I wish we could keep the EV1 for a long time. And all I could say was, me too. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Maybe sunshine and maybe rain. But as for me, I'll wait and see. And maybe it'll bring my love to me.